social worker didn't see him again till he appeared on Top of the Pops as a famous pop star. <laughs> Nah, not yet. I wouldn't mind, though. Hello, what are you doing there? It's all right, Vince. Trevor give them all their money back. He did? Where'd you get it from? Uh, it's no good, Vinny. We've seen you, lad. Oi, right, Vince, there's loads of people looking for you. I've had the flu. What's happening? Oh, They're all blinding, mate. Yeah, of course they are. What have you done all about it, Vince? Yeah, what have your ESP? Yeah, but Trevor's angry, yeah? Yeah, he weren't the only one, mate, see. Yeah, definitely would like to be in your shoes today, Vinny. God, they're gonna say you limb from limb, lad. Don't listen to him, Vince. No one's looking for you, only Trevor. How come? Paid them all back, didn't he? Glad you mentioned that he ain't got any money. Yeah, and he ain't got no walkman, now either, lad. Pop it. I'll tell you something. I would like to be Uri Alm. We could even get told, yeah. Oh, yeah. The old girl came round the house last night. Did they come round yours? Well, about Danny, yeah. Who came in? The old Bill, mate. He has gone off now, I can tell. What's he? Oh, of course he ain't, George. He has. Look, I couldn't have made it more obvious I wanted to go back to him on Friday. He never even let on he heard me. Well, bring him up and ask him what doing that. Morning, girls. Oh, sorry, is Miss Trammer back yet? I'll have a look for you. Just hang Cheers. on a minute. Morning, Jenny. Oh, you're just the person I wanted to see. There's something I need to ask you. It's about this Isle of Wight. Uh, Julie. A couple of fifth bombers outside for you. It's looking very much as though Ted Stanley isn't going to be well enough to take his party, and I wondered how you felt about standing in for him. <laughs> I don't know anything about ecology, Jenny. Oh, but you don't have to. Yeah. Look, the staff at the centre run the course, but in order to comply with the regulations, we must have another member of staff. Oh, it'd be a nice break for you. Well, you know... Oh, please. Otherwise, I should be landed with Maurice Bronson. Jenny, that is moral blackmail. Mm. Oh, thank goodness you're back, miss. You better. Yes, thank you. Good. She's been getting into such a state while you were away. Yeah, well, Bron Mr. Bronson said I had to go and be a secretary. Well, I'm sure he was doing his best. Now, look, I've managed to organise a new work experience opportunity at a local garage. I thought you might be interested. What, are they building something there, miss? No. I'm afraid I haven't managed to come up with anything on the engineering front. I don't want to be a mechanic, miss. Just go and see them, see what they want. Who do you think? It's not up to Georgina. It's better than being a secretary anyway. And if I go this afternoon, you come with me. Oh, really, Helen, go by yourself. Surely you don't need someone to hold your hand at your age. I know what all of us about daddy's for. I mean, he's always wondering. Up. Yeah, I know, but he's never left home before, gone chess, hasn't he? Yeah, and that's never left Bronson's car before. Even hasn't? if he did nick Bronson's car, he can't drive it. We know what I think. Yeah. I think he's gone back to Scotland again. Bronson's <laughs> car? No, look, the car's got nothing to do with Danny, if you ask me. It's Trev. On the table. Which one, that one? Come on, Come on, Vinny. Take any bets today? Shut up. What, where is he? What are you looking for, Trev? Vince. Tom said Vince was in school. Where is he? No, I couldn't see, pal. I haven't seen him out all day. Oh, come on, Trev. Why would he be lying to you? Anyway, Trev, look, do you want to bet? You can make out what he lost last week. What on? Well, er. Rob Zig and me were running a sweepstake. For when Danny shows up again? Well, probably never, innit? Never? It's a bit final. We haven't got odds on, never. No, oh, I think he'll be back tomorrow himself. Nah, he's had enough of school. I'll tell you what, nearest to never is next school year. We'll let him come back next year, is he? What if he don't come in for his exams? Well, if he's gone to Scotland, he'll be back next week, won't he? Yeah. Why said he went to Scotland? Well, who said he went to Scotland? No one. Oh, it always just an idea. Hmm. You say you're going to step around, aren't you, mate? Sure. All right, uh, next week, two to one. Yeah, I'll put a quiz on that. Good for you. So what are you giving right. for Friday? Friday, three to one. Hey, hang on a minute, will you, Dodge? <laughs> what are you talking about? We've got to get a proper system going here. We can't just go pulling numbers out of that. We've got to get ourselves in a lot of trouble doing that. What's wrong with you, lad? Listen, listen. The first thing you decide is did I get their money back? Eh, no. No. Let's see if we can nick a keys then. Right. 
Yeah, but I don't know where she keeps them. I told you that range in that side bit. Oh, yeah, bag. Yeah. And don't let me down, Teddy boy, because I'm counting on you. Right? Right. right. Hello, boys. Sarah, are you? Fuck, I can't have Give me a five on next school year, all right? All right, boys. What's all right, Trevor got? Cleaver, five pounds next school year. Right, hang on. What's giving, Gunch? Johnny, here you go, Paul Colt. Thank you. Under to one, mate. Under to one. That's sensible. 50 to one. That's the best we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Back, it's, um, you you can't go go back on that. Yes, we can, mate. I'm just doing it. Trevor Cleaver, five pounds at 50, 5 0 oh, to one. Hawaii, 5 0 TC. Okay, TC. Uh, wh where's the money? Mate. <laughs> but Vince will give it to you. Uh -uh. When I find it. <laughs> any day now. Any, any day, day now. Three to one on. Alright, I'll take you on that. What's your name? John Vitalis. Vitalis. Mm -hmm. Mr. V, good luck. Have a nice day. There's one born every minute. Oh, look, look. Put me down at 50p, right? But don't go short in the odds, because I'll be back. Right. Uh, put this on your slate. <laughs> what, what slate? Has he gone? Yeah, but stay down, Vinny. You might be back, lad. He might be back. You know what that means, don't you? No. What? Means even if you actually win, you only get 7B back. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I get 7B plus my 20. You're not going to get your stake money back. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Go and ask him. All right. Are you doing all right, lads? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 30B, that's fair. Uh, 22, I think, I think it means. Silly <laughs> game. Okay. Gunch. Right, and another one at three to one on. Uh, yeah. Alan Parker. You do get his right. money back, don't you? Of course you don't know no. Well, listen, you know what I bet I put on? Yeah. My money back. He wants his money back, mate. Right, uh, next term, uh, 15 to 1. I'm, oh. sorry, I'm sorry, pal, but you don't get your statement every term. That's not fair, I didn't understand. I thought, mate, you're not meant to understand, right? Understand. You don't understand things, do you? Do you understand? I know you never understand, but you're a sad man, really, ain't you? I mean, we're not Trevor Cleavers or nothing. Well, what happened? I didn't understand. I told you. I didn't understand. Come on. If someone is acting in a deviant manner, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're acting illegally, does it? In this school, it just means different from what another teacher thinks. It just means different, miss. Different from what? From what the majority thinks is normal. Good. So deviancy is how the majority think the minority behave. But of course, society is made up of lots of different minorities. Now, is the same behaviour always considered deviant? Ted. Sorry, miss. Sorry. Can you think of an example of the same behaviour being condemned in one group and approved in another? Um, no, miss. No, miss. Not fair, miss. What about rowdy behaviour? Do you think that students are judged as harshly as football supporters after a match? Uh, suppose not, miss. No, I suppose they're not. Mandy, you did the war post, didn't you? Which one did you choose? I did the Owen and the early of Priest for Seymour. Did you do the one about the man dying of mustard gas? Dutch is a poor mess. Yeah, that's the one. Did you write about that? Mm-hmm. Look, I couldn't look at what you wrote, could I? Only she said I hadn't done enough about the about the change of pace or something to do with the end of the last verse. Change of pace? Yeah, assonance, I think she said. Yeah, well the first verse is all slow and measured, like they're marching exhausted. All the phrases are the same length and the sounds are repeated. Men marched to sleep. Many had lost their boots but limped on. You lost by heart? I've done it loads of times. And then at the end of the verse, gas shells dropping softly. It sounds quiet and sinister. No, I couldn't borrow what you wrote, could I? Only, it's difficult not having it in front of me. I'm not lending it to you, but you can have a look at it if you like. What now? I can't, I've got to go to orchestra practice. Well, later then. Look, I'll, tell you, I'll meet you at the gate, uh, 10 to 4. OK. Yeah, continue looking. Hang on, doing well there, didn't you, lad? You reckon? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I reckon you've got air eating out your hand. If I didn't know you well enough, I reckon you'd kind of cop for that. Yeah? Yeah, well, it can't be that easy. I mean, it's not exactly good luck. It's like the boys. <laughs> it's all right. I'd rather you than me, pal, you know what I mean? OK, lad. Look, Zig, I was going to ask you, look, can you give me an hand with her? How do you mean? Well, it's not that she doesn't like me. It's just I can't get to hand over her work. She'll let me look at it. It's all right, isn't it? It's not. It doesn't work, Zig. I think I'm going to remember what she says, but then when I get home and try and write it up, it doesn't come out right. Yeah, well, look, I'm not being funny, but look, if you can't do it right, what chance have I got? Lads, that's true. Well, 
help you, darling? Uh, yeah. I was supposed to be seeing Mr. Peabody about some work experience. It's dinner time. He's not here. Try the office. Reg! Reg! A couple of young ladies for you. Yes, what do you want? I'm supposed to be seeing Mr. Peabody about some work experience. Well, it's dinner time. He's not here. Hello? Ah, Mrs. Chase. Yes, bad news, I'm afraid. No, I'm single. Yes, I'm afraid so. You still want us to do it? Yes, all right. No, we can't do it today, but I can try for tomorrow. All right, Mrs. Chase. Yes, I'll give you a ring when the car's ready. Bye-bye. Well, are you still here? Yes. Look, what is it you're after? Some sort of work experience or something? Yes. Don't drive up in the stores. Definitely don't want anybody down here.